welcome to another Tarial Tuesday. This is the last Tarial Tuesday of the month. We have Grandmaster Setu Raman, Ronak Sadbani, and Navisak already registered for the tournament. Let's get started. Hikaru Nakamura was in the list, but I don't know whether he's going to play. Let me just check. Yeah, Hikaru Nakamura is playing here. And uh, I just cropped it. So let me just change it. All right, so we have Hikaru's name. All right. So I am ready for the tournament. I hope you all are ready. Ronak is sixth seeded right now. GM Robert Hess is also playing, great. All right. And uh, on the other side, we have a women's team uh, playing in the world women's fide team championship i hope you have uh, watched the day one highlights that i did today aryan shivasav aaj server crash nahi hona chahi zarur nahi hona chahi aur uh, hum aasha karenge ki sab kuch theek uh, se tournament ho jaye taki hum bhi acha khel sake how is he playing cct so samuel khelega ye pata nahi hai mujhe how is he playing both? I have no idea. If I had an idea, I would have told you. Alright, I think it's all fine. Now I'm going to switch on the music. Just tell me if the sound is okay. Hello, mic check. Yeah, I think the sound is okay. And the mouse is also okay. I'm all set. Uh, just two more minutes to go and uh, we will be starting the games so Ronak is playing from um, UAE uh, you must have seen his pictures uh, he was visiting uh, the IPL matches was watching the games live from the stadium yesterday we saw him rooting for Rajasthan Royals and prior to that I also saw him rooting for Mumbai Indians So welcome to all of you, whoever is here and uh, tonight uh, my uh, main question is how many B3 games will we see today? GM Seturaman, GM Raunak and GM Visak are playing. Alright. So I've pinned the message, I think it's time to start. We start in less than 40 seconds. India is playing against Russia. Uh, are you all watching that as well? I think the games are going live and yeah we have good positions let's see how the Indian team does uh, they need to be in the top four in that pool uh, to qualify for the playoffs and we go I'm playing against Maitreya a Georgian Fide master let's go yeah the games have started So I'm currently following three players and uh, I'm waiting for my game to uh, begin. Meanwhile, Seturaman's game has begun. He's black and uh, his opponent has played Reti. Then we also have Ronak Sadwani's game mm, and Ronak. Yeah, this is a system that even Swapnil Dhopade has played against me with the white side. I played this in an over the board tournament and Kolkata and I drew with the black side. We reach exactly this position. And this is a game between Anavisak and Vladimir Damjanovic. 
all right okay we see a move let's go english opening it's going to be g3 let's go h5 and uh, consider h4 i'm considering h4 and i forced my opponent to go h4 himself i think the knight has got a good square now e4 knight d4 bishop c5 on knight c6 i will first give a check yeah so queen f6 threatening mid and i think i have uh, won a pawn right after knight d4 queen d4 i think it's a safe pawn queen d4 i will take bishop d4 i'm actually threatening queen f2 but queen d1 okay he wants to go bishop c5 no that was too much all right now let me get the bishop to g4 knight d5 what is the threat i don't see a threat and then i'm get, gonna get my rook to e8 b4 so this was the threat this is what i missed all right so c6 is compulsory i think so i have to first attack the rook and see where what it does with the rook bishop b6 c5 with dc5 we will take knight b6 so i need to play c6 here yeah so that was a blunder and i lost two pawns uh, as a result so i should have paid attention to my opponent's threat now bishop c4 is uh, possible to take opponent aapko times or dena chahta hai shayad shakil ahmed vidit is not playing in this event akshit pande hi b6 i don't want to go i was just going to hang my rook fortunately i saw it at the last moment mm -hmm. can i go bishop f5 and then consider taking here okay, i want to go here rook d5 okay i can't play rook e8 unfortunately so i'll just go with f6 if it takes i will take so if you look at the pawns i have five pawns and my opponent has six pawns okay b6 i think i must do this okay time to move the king bishop e6 rook g8 is coming okay i'm slowly losing out another pawn it seems yeah that's bad so my play was lousy in this position okay let's go rook f8 let's forget about the pawn and go for mate let's go for mate rook c7 he wants to play rook f7 so first attack the pawn and see what he has in mind oh he's willing to just give up the pawn all right c7 okay i still have the bishop guarding it give a check rook f4 e4 king f4 h4 how is that let's go i think i will also h3 soon king g3 king e5 
okay let's take this pawn which is available for free and okay, let's attack this pawn Oh, I missed this move. it seems yeah hmm yeah this is going to end in a loss all right just i'm just trying to see where is the design button yeah all right so that was not great i think uh, the turning point in the game was after i Asked myself what is the idea, but I actually failed to see that he was threatening b4. So that was the idea of knight d5, which I missed. I should have played a5, and it would have been very good. All right, Seth Raman has won, Ronak has lost, and Anna Visak has won. So those are the results I can see instantly. And Hikaru has won already. Then we have some more games. Uh, let's see no castling yeah i tried to play without uh, castling because the position was such but unfortunately it did not work out in my favor because i did not focus on my opponent's idea all right now time to focus on the next game let's quickly check how setraman won the game against anastasia sinistina it seems like black is playing white and white is playing black. This is a reversed King's Indian. And uh, how do you evaluate this? I don't know. I like to play King's Indian with both colors. So I can't take sides. Yeah, so I think black uh, in this position. Setraman got a typical white side play in the King's Indian. And now c4 break is what happens. Let's see whether he gets it. Yeah, he gets c4 break. I was right. And then all forces aligned to a3 to attack a3 and knight cannot go because the piece hangs on a1. Yeah, so it was a very smooth and clean victory by Setu Raman. All right. Hi. Hikaru is playing against, I don't know. Hi Watsal, I'm doing good. How the hell is Hikaru playing? I have no idea. Tushar Betsy, okay, we will try to do better with respect to thumbnail. And uh, I don't know who uh, Hikaru is playing against. I think Hikaru, his game is over, so I cannot really see it right now. So there's still some games going on. For example, this game, ah, this is drawn. Okay. Next game has begun and I'm going to play the moves now. Okay, close. So I'm just closing, closing the games that we don't need to see. I'm playing against Candidate Master from Gabon. Okay, that's new. I made my move, but I'm not able to make move. Okay, give me a moment. Just trying a hard refresh. Okay. Carocon, let's go Carocon. He takes e4, knight f6, queen e2. If knight d7, mate in one. 
but I am very sure my opponent won't blunder that. Yeah, you have to ask Hikaru how he is managing all that. <laughs> Incredible. Now I'm going to castle. Oh, let's take this. Question the rook. Now it's very clear that uh, white won't ca black won't castle here because the rook has moved. But this king is likely to go to the queen side. Yes, I was right about it. I'm considering uh, putting b3 and bishop b2 also. Let's see. Bishop e5. I don't want to exchange the bishop. So d4. And I want to put the bishop to b2 very soon. And then go to c4. This knight has not got a decent square. Because even after coming to b4, it will be kicked again. Such is the life of this knight. Now I have a very rare opportunity to go d5. And I'm going with it because the knight is hanging. Let's take a quick look at other games. Um, Ronak is playing against Chesbia. Seems to have conducted a great attack so far. Setu Raman is playing against Joker Smile. Okay, I think again he is clearly better. And now I think has a good position, has a solid position. The pawn structure is very similar to my game because it's coming from a Karakan. Yes, do like the stream. Uh, my target is pretty simple. Let's get to 100 first. So this move c5 does two things. It opens the eyes of the queen and the bishop can also go to e5. So yeah, I think uh, this move is a good one. Bishop c5, I can first play queen e6 check. I think this is lost, in my opinion. Just have to find the finishing blow. I'm actually considering uh, rook d8, queen d8, bishop e5. I think it should be lost, no? Bishop e5 is coming. Yeah, I think this is lost. No matter what move he plays, I can just play bishop into c6, I think. Queen c7 also, I can take bishop into c6. And queen b7 is threatened. And if my opponent plays queen c7, I will play bishop d6, queen d6 and deliver checkmate on b7. Love to play King Senior from both sides. Okay. Great to know what's sell. That means you're practicing chess. Indian elephant is RR Lakshman. Sanjeev Arora Vidit is probably not playing. I don't see his name. Now, quickly, let's jump into Setu Raman's game. Setu is white here, and uh, you can see Bishop d5 is on cards. He could play Bishop d5. Soon, this knight on g3 could come to h5. A lot of possibilities. And Enar Visak, he's having good chance as well. He's, uh, he's won the first round. Okay, coming back to Setu's game. I think the game is going to end very soon. In Setu's favor, queen e6 check or yeah, queen e6 check and this is going to come. So, black's turn to move but uh, yeah, now queen e6. I think even knight h5 is a good one. He goes for rook e6. Okay. How to make emojis on chessboard? Hello Raj. 
okay here is a video i am going to uh, send it to you how to use emojis shubham uh, this is for you karu playing both the tournaments maybe is the pawn structure of black on king side is considered as good or not uh, which which game are you talking about if you're talking about the previous game black had a healthy pawn structure on the king side but uh, we can't say the same about the queen side all right so hello everyone all of you have just joined i am streaming the tile tuesday as you can see and uh, from the list so far setu raman is playing indian elephant is um, rr lakshman nr visak is playing and um, there is also uh, ronak sadwani playing in this style on tuesday so those are some of the big names um, indian elephant that is rr lakshman is on 2 bar 2 right now so definitely we must check indian elephant Indian elephant. Okay, let's check India. What's the username? I thought I I put it correctly. Okay, so Setu Raman has one. Swimmer Chess is also playing. Oh, I just saw. So we will follow Swimmer Chess. Uh, let's follow swimmer chess as well. <laughs> All right. Thank you. Hi, Pulatsya Jain. You just started playing chess in the lockdown and you've become seventeen hundred in bullet, but can't get good in rapid. Um, if you're not able to get good in rapid, what I would suggest is um. to watch videos uh, but take pause whenever the author of that video is trying to tell you to take a pause and guess the moves sincerely do it and uh, whatever you are not good at if you spend more time on it you will have more chances to become great at it or better than what you are at it so spend some quality time on chess do watch some instructive videos and uh, make notes and uh, i think that's about it just give more time How is Hikaru playing? Let's check. Let's check. Ah, uh, let's follow Hikaru as well. Yeah. So I've added him in my watch list, but uh, I can't really see the game that's already over. So from the next game, I will check. Oh, we have a woman fide master, Sristi Pandey also playing, but uh, she's lost this game. She played against uh, Den Lars. Her username is one of the most difficult ones for me to type because there are so many S and H. <laughs> Always get confused. All right, coming back to the game, I'm playing against uh, the machine from Germany. Need to be careful here, the machine. So I put the other games on mute, so they do not trouble us. And um, we have Srishti Pandey playing D4, and Ronak Sadwani playing the London. Swimmer Chess playing against Fide Master G Jain, again a very strong player from India. He's a Fide Master. N R Visak playing against the Banco. Setu Raman playing against Andrew Tang. Hikaru Nakamura playing against New Born Now. and i am playing against the machine but the machine is not willing to make the move so i'll better i'll better stick to setu raman's game and uh, and see how he's doing okay this is fine so my opponent is still thinking and he has not made a move
Okay, so my opponent has made a move. D4, let's go knight f6. Bishop g5, knight e4. Ah, this is a mouse slip, by the way. That was a mouse slip. Mm. So I'll have to play a poor version of uh, pick defense. But uh, it's still okay. H4. Let's go queen a5. Queen d2. I can push e5. Yes. So let's get this going. e5 takes takes. Should I go knight h5? Yeah, why not? Queen d8 is not a mate. Thanks to my queen on e5. G4, I'm willing to actually play knight f4, but I'm also considering knight g3. Attacking the rook, attacking the bishop. I am going to take the bishop anyway. Who is Indian, my friend? Beautiful song in the background. Thank you very much. All thanks to Harris Heller. It's by Harris. Rook d1, he wants to play something here. Okay, let's go knight d7 and stop it. Rook s3, let's take the bishop and uh, just question this bishop again. Where it wants to go. Should be four. H five. G H. I'll just take rook takes pawn. Is Vidit playing today? No, Vidit is not playing. Apparently, he power making quick draws in his game with Wesley and then playing here. Oh, I do, I'm not aware. I'm not following it. Sorry, but uh, I'm really checking this game right now. He wants to go knight g3, I can see that. So I'll go bishop e7 and threaten to take the pawn on h4. Simple ideas, simple chess. Swimmer chess has uh, meanwhile won his game against uh, g giant and uh, king g2. Okay, I can take this, but why should I? I can go knight b6 and uh, be happy about it. Knight g3. Now maybe I can consider taking take 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 rook h1, or I can first play knight c4 and uh, you know take this bishop also, and say tata, and then maybe I can consider taking this. Even then I don't want to take it. I'm okay with that. Hg6 and then just take this. Queen h6, what is the threat? He wants to take the pawn, yeah? Okay, let's go bishop f7. Queen h8, I have a bishop f8. Queen f6, but what is the threat? There is no threat. I'll just play queen e7 next. Yeah, so I managed to exchange the pieces and I'm doing good, I think. Position is great. Okay, I can give a check, but why should I? Now I can give a check because king f2, I have bishop c5. I don't know whether he missed it or he deliberately wants to play it. I'm not sure. Okay, what next? Let's go a5. Queen g7, queen e7, no problem. Bishop c4 and the queen is lost. That was a small trap I had in my bag. In my bag of traps, that was one of the traps I had. 
And I won the game. Good, good going. the chat bishop pair versus knight pair yes that's that's what i did i mean i was so confident because i had double bishop Karo has won this game wow there's one rook f3 queen f3 there is knight d2 fork all right Sitraman with just one second on the clock oh he's lost his game against andrew tang and now Isak being very professional with his score today is one again wow Swimmer Chess is, is, has won his game against GJ and Ronak has won against a Grandmaster from Portugal and Sisti Pandey has won against uh, a National Master from the US. Now let's see how Enabisak won his game in the Benko. Okay, this is alright. He just gave the pawn because he's already got one pawn. This is very typical of Benko. Queen c8. Sometimes black plays queen a6. And now, yeah, I'm not sure if uh, this is the right approach. I would be hesitant to give away my dark squared bishop. I would probably play queen c2. But he played this and uh, knight d5. So this is a this is a move that is actually played to provoke f4. It's not that uh, black did not see this. I think this bishop d4 check should come before black gets an e5. Uh, but this is a well consolidated position I would say. The strong knight on b5 prevents all the possible counter pair for black. I am preferring white in this position. Oh, knight a3, I don't know, knight a3, knight c4, queen f3, and d6, okay. So this is a pass pawn, and as a wise man once said, d5, it's a pass pawn, must be pushed, and uh, there is nobody to keep this pawn under lock and key, so the pawn can just keep going. Wow, rook takes d4, what is the idea? Let me see, rook takes d4, pawn takes knight e5. This is a straight exchange sacrifice. Threatening queen f7. And there is no defense, I think. And now threatening queen g8. Well played by NR Misak in that game. Very well played. Okay. I'm playing against international master from Russia. Again, another Karakhan. Too many Karakhans today. Hi, Cuba Chess. And uh, hello, Aryan Philip and Watson saying yes. Uh, Queen d5. Not something that I see regularly. Take, should I take it or should I play a4? Just keep it like that and play a4. If he takes, I'm happy with it. Now, let me just go bishop e2. And then go d4. c3 this is very important so that knight doesn't come here h3 just making sure that this bishop moves away but he just gave up his bishop pair a lot of players are giving me their bishop pair tonight okay i think i will castle king e7 okay small trap one rupee trap bishop into pawn <laughs> that my opponent has seen already Alright, bishop e3. He wants to get in b5. Alright, let's go b4 and uh, shock him a little bit. Takes, takes and play bishop e2. Takes, takes, no problem. I'm very happy. This is definitely pleasant for white because white has two bishop advantage plus weakness on b5 pawn. Hi Anshika, Catalan Wani. Wow, Catalan Wani. Nice. That is an username I like. 
Okay. Rook a6. What what do you do after rook a6? I don't know. This rook will join the party on a1. And then bishop into b5 is always there in the air. Yeah, so now I can take this pawn for free. I can also play rook a1. Should I play rook c6 check? No, let's go rook a1. If he takes a bishop, I take his rook. If he takes a rook, I take his rook. This is great. Now I'm a pawn up and this is an end game. And in the end game, we know that we must activate our king. That's something which is very important. Now if I go b5, I don't know. I have to I think I have to go b5. There's no no other move. I want to go c4 also. Knight b6, he wants to come here. Very understandable. But what will he do after coming here? That is the question. Alright, let's go king f1. I am having great advantage but I need to preserve it and play to the maximum. On the other side, let's see, Ronak is playing against Pota Pova M. She's a strong player. Setu is playing against Anastartan. Again, great competition here. Alright, what is my opponent's idea? King b6. Just, just being there with this king, okay? Am I missing something? No, I don't think so. So let's activate the king. King is a masterpiece. He wants to get e5 break. Um, I think that's okay. Now I'm just preventing it, but I think he could have. I could have let him play e5. It's not a big issue, but still, I just want to keep things in control. Rook e8. All right, king d3. F5, F5, D5. Knight E5, he'll definitely go. This bishop is somewhat stuck now, but he goes for Rook E5, which surprises me. After Bishop F4, he has Knight B2 check and uh, King D2. He may play knight c4 check again, but I think I can go with it. Rook e2 check is coming. Bishop d2, knight c4 is coming. So I can't do much. I must take a draw here, unfortunately. King d3, knight b2 check. King c2, rook e2 check. Clever, clever. I found a perpetual. Okay, let's go a little risky move. He is taking a risk. Wow. That is shocking. All right, let's take this. He wants to take this. No problem. Uh, should I play c4? Let's go rook f4. If he takes, I will take. No problem. He's relying probably on my time, you know, because I have less time. Hi, Siddharth Mittal. I'm doing good. How are you doing? Tell me about yourself. Trading rook b8 soon. Ah, rook b8 check. What is this idea? Can I go b6 and win the race? Life is a race. b7. I can do b7, yes. And also threaten rook c8 next. This is a pass pawn. 
थैंक यू अतुल ऑल द बेस्ट यू एज वेल ओ वॉट एप इट्स माई टर्न आई जस्ट फॉर गॉट और राइट रुकी थ्री किंग्स ए टू रुकी टू किंग डी वन नो प्रॉब्लम लेट्स गो फास्ट ओ नो फॉर अ मोमेंट आई थॉट आई गॉट डिसकनेक्टेड I'm going to play rook 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 about to go wrong about to go wrong just got just escaped the deadly knight fork he was just waiting for me to do that mistake okay give a check come here okay take this take this also and then slowly win this me to check mate all right done that was uh, a result achieved through a lot of twists and turns never mind let's look at the games um what do we have sanan sujiro wow swimmer chess has won against sanan sujiro now that's a highlight let's quickly check how समय भाई से बोल के अरे ना बुलाए क्या रमाकांत क्यों बिशप पेयर और नाइट पेयर आई वुड से बिशप पेयर क्यों क्यों बुलाना है वो शायद कुछ कर रहे होंगे बिजी होंगे और राइट नाइट डी फाइव एंड देन नाइट एच फोर आई लव दिस पोजिशन फॉर वाइट एंड देन क्वीन ई वन क्वीन जी थ्री एंड देन ब्रिंग द नाइट टू एच फोर इज गॉट वेरी स्ट्रेट फॉर पोजिशन नाइट इज कमिंग टू एफ फाइव now he's bringing the other rook you see how quick he was in getting his uh, the other rook on e1 and then 94 again rook f6 is threatened we knight 3 okay can't say that it was a convincing attack but the final position was very scary yeah this is a scary position knight on g7 is pinned Queen doesn't have a square. Wow, what a position. Queen doesn't have a square. This queen is dead. And you look at these rooks, they deserve applause. So let's give applause. And this knight is definitely deadly. All right. So that was a great game by Shiva Mahadevan. Ronak Sadwani has drawn his game. They played until the very end, and uh, Seturaman. Seturaman has won. Sristi has lost, and who else do we have in the list? Hikaru Nakamura continues fine run by winning another game. Thank you, um, thank you, Atul. Konsa mouse hai? Hamara mouse hai. Asus ka mouse. This is the mouse. Now we want match between you and Jabawa Bahadur. would love to defeat carson or thar i would love to defeat both <laughs> but if you had to pick i think um defeating thar was not easy i would pick ka uh, but in reality carson also doesn't lose so often so it's a hard hard pick thank you amay thank you anshika and uh, yeah let's see if i can play against jabawa So if you look at the standings right now, four rounds are over, and uh, Shiva Mahadevan is 
4 out of 4. FIDE Women World Cup, CSL Pay Thoughts, CSL Pay Thoughts, CSL, one moment, next round is starting soon, CSL, I just read about it today, and um, it's a great initiative, I think, and for all those who do not know, we had our league in uh, 2020 called Indian Chess League, where we also did something very similar, but I think this is... Uh, on a higher level because there are huge sponsorships uh, involved in this event so yeah, i think it's going to be great for uh, the overall development of chess in india it's going to create a lot of hype because uh, i think some of the big stars of india are uh, team owners so it's going to be really epic all right When is 200 diamond memberships giveaway? Ramakant. Uh, if I get an update, I will definitely let you know. I mean, keep an eye on social media, Twitter. The link is in the description. And uh, if there is something like that, you will definitely know it if you're keeping an eye on social media channels of chess.com India. Mm -hmm. Okay, so Hikaru is four bar four. Let's see what is going to do next. It will be great to see Swimmer Chess versus Hikaru Nakamura actually. I'm going to be pumped up for that one. If he wins, it's going to be great. Live Chess Cub Hatrai. Very soon. Safel, yes, he's playing CCT also and he's playing Tidal Tuesday also. That is remarkable, isn't it? <laughs> it's like Ronak Sadwani playing um, the classical format of the event in Dubai and then playing the Pro Chess League or the Tidal Tuesday. But this is like probably playing simultaneously. Huh? He is actually right now playing there and then he's also going to play here. That is crazy. So let me just quickly check what is happening in the um, in the event. By the way, Niranjan sir, apne giveaway result ka declared bhi kiya, congratulations ka message bhi hai, and apne last TT stream mein ID bhi pucha, but abhi tak nahi mila hai. Just aapko pata hai. Achha, what is your username? Uh, Amay, let me clarify. Whenever you give username, I send it to the staff. So. When you send it on the other day, I think I already shared it with the team. You can maybe put your username again. Game link. You want to see the game of... Uh, okay, let's see. This is the game link of uh, Sandan Sujiro. And uh, the game link of the event link is already posted in the description. I'm posting it again. I'm playing against Margensi, is a grandmaster from Turkey. Okay, let's go. Knight f3, knight c6. Bishop c4, knight f6. D3, let's go h6. I have a secret plan to play g5 very soon. C3, now is the time. Let's go G5. A4. Bishop G7, I can go. BG4, I can go. So this time I'm settling with Bishop G4. Knight D2, Bishop G7. Can I go Knight A7? Um. Not yet. So let's castle first. 
now it's going to play x3 very soon and that is not going to be so easy so if i go d5 he'll play ed5 knight d5 i think i'll go d5 yeah it's a very risky line that i have chosen but it's fun to play nevertheless because you see my king is very exposed a quick look at Hikaru Nakamura's game. Nakamura is black in this position. Wow. And Swimmer Chess is also black. He's playing against some strong GM. I don't know his name, but yeah, some strong GM from Russia, definitely. Then Sidraman is also black. A lot of players are black, but Ronak is white. He's playing against Vianney Antonio Di Cuna. Vianney is another strong player from Karnataka and uh, is basically from Mangalore. Okay, coming back to my game. What a5? Let's go a6. Just preventing further expansion of the pawn. I might go knight f4 soon. He wants to take this. Okay, knight f4. It's okay to take this, I think. This is the move I had prepared so that uh, I can trap the queen on the next move with uh, rook fb8. How good is it? Only time can tell. Now I can actually take knight takes d3, I can take knight takes h3, so many ideas. But how good is it? No idea. Bishop d3 is also possible. Then bishop f4, bishop c4, queen c4, bishop d3, rook d1, bishop c4, rook d7. Okay. So let's go with bishop d3. Bishop d3 I will take. Knight d3 I think. Bishop c4, this was the idea to play e4 he has rook d1 by the way and i have no defense against it fortunately my opponent overlooked overlooked that he could play rook d1 i think okay what do i do with this knight it needs support but i am not sure how to support it okay let's go knight e7 Considering to play queen b5 next, of course it's very clear my, upper, my opening has backfired. Uh, not much happening here. Alright, let's take a quick look at Hikaru's game. Hikaru is um, a pawn down? No, it's equal, it's equal. But this knight on h6 is doubtful. Uh, he's playing some tricks, back rank tricks in the air. Okay, my opponent has played knight c5, I go queen c6. Just spinning and relying on some tactics. Knight e5. Can I take bishop e5? And then play rook e8. Rook e8, rook e8. I think this is forced. Not much I could do there. Queen d6 attacking the rook. It's threatening this rook. He wants to play rook e8 check. Mm -hmm. Any ideas how to defend it? b4 let's go knight b5 threatening c3 pawn if he goes c4 i will go knight c3 let's take this so that's one thing out of my list of things to worry because i don't have a rook now Knight e4, alright, what is my opponent's idea? What is the idea? 
let's go queen d5 I'm going to play knight d6 soon. Queen g8. Mm, nice. Nice trick by my opponent. Okay, let's take this this pawn. Yes, I can take it. And how do I stop this pawn? So knight a3. Mm -hmm. Okay, let's go. Ah, oh, that hurts. That was a nice move by my opponent. <laughs> yeah, this is the, this is the last trap I had set. Okay. And Hikaru, what about Hikaru? What is he doing? He's won another game. Wow. 5 bar 5. Amazing. And Shiva Madhavan has lost his game. And we have Anna Visak who has won. So that's good result. Anna Visak is right now on 4 points, I think. Shiva Mahadevan also on 4 points. So that's 2 Indians on 4. Sitraman has won his game. But the king, look at the opponent's king. It's come all the way to e7. This definitely deserves to be seen. Let's see. So Setu employed the French. And he's known to be having a very solid and uh, straightforward repertoire. Okay, I can understand that he is expanding on the queen side, but why is not really doing much on the queen side, on the king side, I mean. Yeah, this spawn on c3 could be a soft target. Queen c6, idea is bishop b7, wow. King h8, queen e2, should be a mate, queen h1, queen h2. Queen s3, queen g2, bishop g4, opponent <laughs> g5, wow, king takes f5, rook check, king e6, queen check, king e7, finally, mate. Wow, that was nice. If you enjoyed this game, folks, I think you will enjoy my game as well. There was a game I played in one of the title Tuesdays. Um, let me just bring that link. Where my opponent's king, king came all the way to a8. And I think uh, that was fun also. It was published on chess.com. So let me get the link for you. So this is the game that I was talking about. When the king from g1 comes to a8. King from, king from e1 comes to a8. And that too in just 20 to moves. Uh, it's a typical king hunt. Uh, which... I liked. How do we say it now? Karnataka do it. Madam do Okay, let me read the comments. Your views on Super Chess League. Sonali saying that was Sasta Kaspov. Maybe. Hundred done. Wow! Thank you very much uh, for all the hundred likes. And time to increase the likes target okay then let's increase let's get to 200 likes all right so i've increased the target king walks and king hunts are often fun yeah i agree hikaru ko koi batai yaar ki kone mein ghoda kaam kare thoda acha okay i just lost 30 seconds looking at the chat all right let's see my opponent is playing super fast all of a sudden all my opponents spend a lot of time uh, thinking but he is being really fast here knight c3 mm. let's go rook b8 
Just keeping an eye on the B2 pawn. This side is likely to come to e7, but okay. What about this move? Looks very scary, no? But uh, let's see. Bishop d4, threatening bishop to c3. I'm also considering moves like rook b4. If he castles, I will first take here and then put the knight on f6. The b2 pawn is hanging. Why did he give me the free pawn? Bishop b3, okay. I can go c5. Next move is c4. Simple plan. Whoa, what is this? Uh, this is a move I missed. Um, no doubt, I missed this move. Rook b3. Okay, now maybe I have some compensation. I did not expect that move from my opponent. Now maybe I have some compensation. Queen e3. to castle as soon as possible mm -hmm. knight e2 shocking shocking okay, if it takes i take Okay, let's take a look at other games while I am playing. Let's see. Knight f4. Okay, let's castle. Who are playing? Hikaru is playing against Kuli 4 ik Okay. Setu is playing against Shield. Shiva Mahadevan is playing against Sanyura, woman grandmaster from Russia. Ronak is playing against Dr. Whitman. Okay. Seems they've all just started. Ninety-five. Okay. Queen d3 is my dream goal. Queen g3. Bishop g4. <laughs> I can't move the bishop, unfortunately. <laughs> bishop can't come here. Bishop c3. How about bishop g4? Bishop into bishop. Bishop into bishop. Bishop into rook. Bishop into knight. Pawn into then rook into this. That's the piece down. That is of no use. So this is forced. And. He wants to take this pawn. So I can go c6 or I'll go queen b7 first. I'm going to open the king side very soon. But objectively, this position is lost. Uh, no joking about it. It's just lost. Queen c7. So he's actually giving up his exchange, you see. Mm -hmm. I can take, take, and take that. But I want to keep attacking chances. So I'm going to play queen a6. Mm -hmm. 
this is hanging unfortunately it's all falling down the small trap if he gives this knight g6 you know i had prepared a plan but yeah it's not going to work out this is a simple threat i had and h6 <laughs> Still scary for my opponent, slightly scary because of the back rank problems. Knight d6, uh, queen b4. mate okay where well, was the last tick i had okay so this is a game where shiva madhavan has 15 16 seconds opponent has less than two seconds what will happen let's see queen f8 bishop b4 queen e7 mate is threatened wow queen f8 and then what rook d1 rook d5 whoa rook to queen <laughs> opponent blundered a queen mm. so that is a win for shiva madhavan Ronak is white here. Rook b4. A2 rook a4. Oh, that's that's cool. A2 rook a1. That's what it's gonna do. And then rook f1 check and then you just go back, yeah? No. E6. He can take the pawn, yes, he can take. Rook b6. Oh. Rook b4. Please king f6. Oh, I think rook b4 was important. Stop the advance of the pawn. Now this position is lost. You will eventually see a Lucena and white is winning. Hikaru doesn't want to waste any chance for making some dollars. <laughs> How is Hikaru playing at two places? He can't play him, you never know. Alright. In your match you could take the rook now. Which rook? If I take the rook, he will take my queen. You know, that was the idea. So let me just quickly show you. In this position, if I take the rook, he will take my queen. So that was a last minute trap, but of course did not work in my favor. So Hikaru has won this game as well. Wow. <laughs> If you look at uh, his playing style, it's pretty solid and uh, suddenly gets aggressive. Like in this position, he went g4, then he went b4, b5. Incredible to see Hikaru win so many games at a stretch and that to play another event. Wow. Just directly checkmated. <laughs> Incredible.
so good news for uh, amay pradeep uh, kanetkar that you have finally got your chess.com membership thanks to rakesh do you touch type no no i don't touch type i actually like type on my keyboard who is fair chess on youtube i have no idea part maybe you can just search oh my game has begun i'm playing against i am aghasyev kamal let's go let's start the game d4 i'm now going to play the catalan there is somebody in the chat in the youtube chat right now with the name um catalan vani okay so this is all standard catalan theory black goes b5 here and i will play b3 and say take the pawn i don't want it and i am going to play for a long term initiative that is all uh, that is what catalan is all about you give a pawn and then you play for a long term initiative so we have got 132 golden ever welcome ah yes wotsel i learned typing quite early in my life at the age of 6 so i can type without saying and i use all my fingers bishop d2 rook some rook, rook comes to c1 and this knight comes to d3 that's the plan in this position and uh, if you are learning a new opening you know you can adopt a similar strategy like me try to make notes about where your piece should be at the end of 15th move 20th move 25 moves like have some idea about the please placements then it's much easier to uh, play when you know what you're doing So here black's goal is to play c5 and white's goal is to stop it somehow. So I'm trying my best to stop the advance of c5 and black is trying hard to get c5. So my opponent has got c5. Now that surprises me because I was under the impression that c5 is not coming and if it's actually coming then i have gone wrong somewhere dc5 my opponent wants to go knight d3 rook d1 he wants to go knight c5 okay let's go in that direction because bishop c5 is a blunder and knight d3 i will go rook d1 bishop c5 i'll just move move the piece Thank you Nikhil Gaur for telling us who is fair chess. Okay, let's take a quick look at other games. Right now we have uh, Hikaru playing against Andrew Tang. Wow. Okay. My opponent has made the move. Now I was considering to play bishop a5. You know, if black advances the pawns on the queen side, it's very clear that he is going to be better because he will be able to create a path pawn and that is what I am supposed to stop. I think I still have a decent amount of compensation. I could be wrong, but that's what I am feeling right now and it's a good idea to be optimistic. and a bad idea to be over optimistic right now i am just optimistic swimmer chess shiva madhavan is playing against rasmus swain d6 what is happening it's black's turn okay my opponent has made the move bishop to d5 i'm going to play b4 knight a4 all right rook c1 knight e4 so he's trying to create pressure on the c3 point here and let's go knight e5 oh knight c3 is actually losing an exchange which i realized just now 
Okay, so I will just take this. Knight d1, I will play bishop e4. Threatening bishop at 7. Can I go knight c6, rook c8, knight e7? Can I go knight c6, rook c8, knight e7? There are so many ideas. I'm thinking about another move, knight c6, rook c8, knight takes e6. f6, queen e6, king h8. But yeah, king h8 and then there is nothing. Hmm, what else do I have? Okay, bishop c7, rook c8, queen b7. Bishop c7, rook c8, queen b7. I don't know. Knight c6, rook c8, knight f5. E f5, knight e7, king h8, rook c8. Still not enough. Still not enough. Because you know, ultimately he's going to play this move. And uh, ah, let's go with bishop c7. And uh, queen b7. Bishop f6. Okay, rook c6. Let's go. Bishop e5. Bishop e5, rook c6. Knight c6. Knight c4. He's threatening this. Okay. Can I go bishop c7 here? Then queen d7 will come. Great defense, you know. Every move he's forcing me to think. Now he's threatening e5. Very smart. Okay, bishop f4. Rook c6. Need to do something. Already low on time. Queen g4. That you could take rook d4, I missed that. Hmm, this is going to go down. This is seeming like a comfortable win to my opponent. I think I made some strategic errors in the game. Like, for example, I thought the break was not coming and the break was coming, so I think that is where I went wrong. Somewhere here, I think, in this position. Maybe I should have taken bishop b4, bishop b4, then knight c2, or knight c2, c5. Probably just taken this and played this position. Okay, I will have to check this in detail before I play Catalan again. And uh, let's look at the standings now and see who is leading. Ronak is right now on 5.5 out of 7 and Hikaru is on fire. 7 out of 7. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Hi, Dizia Kumar. Anshika Catalan Vani. Yes, <laughs> I think it's good that I finally got to play a Catalan. But okay, maybe if I have another white game, I will play Catalan. And, and then all together, after all the games are over, I will analyze them and see where I could do better. Let's quickly check uh, if there are still some games going on. Yeah, there is one game going on. And this is Rook Bishop versus Rook. And Rook H8. Rook H8. That's a mint. Ah, it was missed by both the players. Okay. Dretch, Grandmaster from the US, he's won the game. 
another game that's still going on is this game all right so all the games are over it seems because my game has started i'm definitely going to keep an eye on hikaru's game setu raman is playing against zigalko sergi okay e4 e5 let's let's go simple with the knight of 3 and 6 bishop e5 again a scotch so many scotch players today bishop c4 let's go bishop c5 c3 i'll just put my knight on f6 okay and swimmer chess is playing against london system and dear viewers today uh, we posted um we posted a video where Pragnananda played the London system against Nihal Sarin. Have you all watched that video already? I vaguely remember that I have seen all of this before. Um, from a book, I think this was a possibility to play in this fashion. to keep the king on f7 and play but don't rely on me um because i have i'm not sure if the way i played was the best move uh, but yeah i'll have to check this after the game knight i'll have to check this queen h5 knight e6 rook e6 no problem queen h5 g h5 no problem f3 d5 so that way i think my opponent has blundered a pawn because i'm getting this pawn back d5 and uh, I don't think there is anything dangerous for me. I can simply take the pawn and be happy. Maybe I would just pre-move pawn takes pawn and then pre-move this also. This is hanging. Should I go rook f8, bishop c7, takes takes, or just play rook c8? Let's go rook c8. All right, this is okay. This is good. Knight b4, attacking the pawn on c2. On rook e2, I'm considering d3. also considering knight d5 also considering c5 so this is just to solve all my existing problems rook c1 can i go c3 d d3 c3 d2 rook moves knight checking e3 knight b2 or i could just play c5 and be happy i'm choosing the happy life H4. Let's go. Why did I play H4? Can you all guess? He can play title Tuesday as well as championship. Yeah, you are right. That is the news so far in the social media. That has been the highlight. Can anyone tell me the result of the Indian team? What happened? Because I have not checked. You can go to chess.com/events. and quickly check and tell me if that's possible knight f6 bg5 then i will have to worry for worry about another fork um, let's go knight b6 let's go knight f6 okay d2 is hanging i don't know what is going to do about it Rook f4, king g3, rook e2. Where is going to go with this bishop? Rook check. King h3 wants to go. Okay, let him go. Rook f5, king e6. Rook e5, king d7. King g5. He wants to take this knight. No, sir. I am not going to give you my knight. Uh, 
I'm going to first support this pawn and then see what next. So very good trap, knight c7, he wants to go rook e6, but I have knight c7 and knight d5. Now b2 hangs, g2 hangs, d pawn is promoting too many problems for my opponent, not for me. Ah, now problems are for me. <coughs> because after king c4, he has b3 check. King d4, bishop f2 check. King f5, what is my opponent's idea? If I go d2, he wants to go bishop e5 check. And I have to go rook e2 in this regard. I almost blundered the game almost because you know this knight keeping this under the pin and then uh, my opponent would have said call the ambulance but not for me India lost to Russia Achha. which all Indians are playing Pushkar Gupta welcome mm, what happens on d2 bishop f6 check and then I have to move, move my knight. C4 bishop check, takes, takes. This was probably missed by my opponent. Okay, finally I managed to win that game. Fair chess is uh, Andrikin Dimitri. And Andrikin Dimitri is winning. There's no denying that. Oh, King E7. Why? King D6. Yes, Queen 8. Wow. What will this end in a mate? I am very curious. Who is going to checkmate first? Black or white? Oh, it's lost. Queen E3, Queen G2 mate. Unbelievable, unbelievable this is. Wow, what a turnaround this was. <laughs> In such a position, you see the king, it's the black king under the fire. It's black king which is under fire now. This king on f8 is, is really dying for support. And suddenly you see with this king e7 and in a matter of two moves, it is White's king now who is under fire. Fire. And after rook f2, this is just plunder because rook c2 is just game over. So Hikaru is right now with 8 points. Wow, phenomenal. All right, what do I say? <laughs> 8 bar 8. Will he get 11 bar 11 again? All right, here we have a uh, Ronak Sadwani. What happened to the game though? Oh, he lost. King h4, g3 checkmate. Okay. All right, who else is playing? Swimmer chess. What happened to swimmer chess? Swimmer chess one on time. Okay, good. So Anna Crambling is playing, she is black in this game and she's won the game. Good job. Sanan Sujiro is still playing and is going to win this, I think. Yes, there you go, has won the game. So among the Indian players, um, if you see, Shiva Mahadevan has won. Seturaman has drawn his game, Ronak has lost. Alright, so let me just close all those games which are over already. This is over. This is over. So 
so eight rounds are over uh, next round we'll start very soon what what is the chat saying hikaru is also playing champions chess tour khush you are right dubai bhaskar happy birthday to you bhaskar dubai may you have a great year ahead and um, you are right khush hikaru is also playing uh, the champion store you are right and harika tanya vaishali bhakti and mary on groups are playing in the world team championship okay let's see if i am white let's try to get another cat lawn check going on and uh, because eight rounds are over next round will start very soon so setraman is on six par eight shiva mahadevan is on six par eight and those are the two names i can see in the top they are in the top 30 right now what's up did you get the membership yeah i know that you had one but did you get it if not please let me know Okay. Okay, well, sir, I have uh, informed our staff, and I think it should be done very soon. Nihal is a magician, definitely. Oh <laughs> 
हूँ दिमाग तेज करने के लिए ड्राई फ्रूट्स खाते हो समटाइम्स ऑलमंड्स एंड ऑलमंड्स एंड कैशिफ Yeah, yeah, all the best work, sir. I have conveyed it, and uh, I think it should be done soon. I am playing against Ginger GM. Let's go. E4. I've got E4. Now I am very curious. What Grandmaster Simon Williams? Oh, is going for E6. Let's go G3. This is my uh, my line that I play when I want to avoid theory. If he's going for d3, I'm just going to take. D4. Just going to give the pawn to my opponent. Develop the knight soon. He can take queen b2 if he wants to. Knight e5, queen d4, bishop b4. Okay. So he's taking this as well. Bishop b4. E2 hangs. This is a terrible position. I think I'm already losing. Seven hangs, but yeah, it's very well played by my opponent. Got the queen side castling at the right moment. I'm not ready to play e5 because knight comes to d5 and it'll keep bothering my rook. e5, but this I think he missed. e5 was a blunder and my opponent missed it. So that is some chance for me. Let's go f3 for a moment. h5, let's go h4. Now he wants to take the pawn. If he takes, I will take. I might win another pawn here, yeah? Pin and win. Simple strategy. King d6, I'll just take this. I'm just going to play king f2. I want to be away from all the pins and 
knight c5, b c5, rook c5. Okay, now I have a nice move to win the pawn. I think this deserves an exclaim, yeah? Because king c5, I'll play rook c1 and I'll take this rook. Yeah, thank you very much. Okay, so that was a nice win against Ginger GM. Not really deserved because I was losing. But because of his move e5, I got a chance to come back in the game. Hikaru is playing with 8 points. <laughs> and his opponent is down to 21 seconds. Strong opponent. So congratulations Watsel, now you are also having the diamond membership. Oh really, thank you very much Suborup Sarkar for that uh, message. I am glad he calls me a super fast player. I think I was losing. Just losing, just got lucky here. Alright. Let's look at uh, Shiva Mahadevan, who has good chance, I think, but position-wise, not really. He's on six and has good chance to finish in the top. Setu Raman is white, and again, he not only has good chance but good position also. Look at this weak pawn on g7. Thank you, Anshika Watsil. Arav Agarwal, you are right. It's officially titled Wednesday for us. <laughs> I think the rook now g4 is going to come oh very move very good move prophylactic move making sure that uh, the pawn doesn't promote I think bishop c3 also I'll... g4 is also possible here just take the pawn. King e3. Rook g8. And take, take and king e2. Yeah, Setu is listening to me. I'm just kidding. Yeah, of course, these are obvious moves for a grandmaster. Alright, so Setu is going to win. Ronak is having a slightly difficult position. Oh, now it's the... The engine is completely in black's favor. Ah, this is lost. Because black has passer here and he can create another passer here. So it should be lost. So Shimmer Chess, Shimmer Madhavan has lost. So Setu Raman is the only Indian player in the top right now. And Hikaru has drawn his game. Against Alexander Botnik. So Shiva Madhavan moves to 7 I think, 7 out of 9 which will which is being reflected in the standings also. So Setu Raman is 7 by 9, yes, not Shiva Madhavan. Okay, so I am right now on how many points? I am on 5, okay. We are on 159 right now. Maybe just all those who are here, maybe just click click on the like button so that we cross 200 very soon. Okay, next round is starting soon.
Hmm. Okay. My next round has begun. I'm playing against Nobova Kevin. 1999 Okay Where is my game? Oh Where is my game? Open games. Yeah, it's here <laughs> I lost about a minute trying to figure out the game tab. So today, Swimmer Chess, Shiva Madhavan is playing. What an opening this is. Knight A5. Mm -hmm. It feels as if white has completed the development on the king side, but black has just got only knight. But suddenly you see pieces are coming. All right. Okay, let's go another Simon Williams line. G3, the line that I played against Simon Williams. GT5, bishop G2, take, take. Nobody is actually taking the pawn, yeah? Bishop e7, let's go d4. b6, now that is new. I'll take this and castle. The reason I took ed5 is to make sure that my opponent is slightly disappointed with the fact that uh, this is pawn on d5 so he cannot really play bishop b7 so happily so that pawn on d5 remains so that is the reason you see my opponent developing his bishop to f5 not in this diagonal now I'm going to play g4 and knight g3 this is typical of uh, uh, the system with g3 to get the knight on g3 knight on e2 knight on g3 okay just got to know that uh, india lost to russia in the uh, in the match today but we have qualified to the quarterfinals you know so that's a good i mean the bright side is that we've already qualified to the quarterfinals that's an update coming from Rakesh. So let me just post the link. You see, this is the latest update. Okay, what, what did my opponent play though? <laughs> Play knight a6. Let's get bishop to f4. Okay, let's go bg5. It's not in a mood to play bishop d6 because that invites the queen uh, to come to d6 unnecessarily. Why to do that? Okay, bishop f4. He wants to go queen b4. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, let's go king h2. Okay, so he wants to take a pawn. No, doesn't want a pawn. I thought he wants to take c2. It is strange, he's not looking for the pawn there. Knight e4. The last few moves by my opponent, they look really strange to me. Can't take it because of mate. Mm. 
c5 okay take the pawn Before can I go bishop b4 next? Yeah, I got it. Got it. Got it. Oh, what did I get? <laughs> I got nothing. I thought I got a piece, but <laughs> it's nothing. <laughs> that was fun. <laughs> I thought I got a piece, but it's nothing. I guess I just just blundered the pawn on before. What is happening for a moment? He scared me. Strange, I don't know what my opponent is doing. It just gave me everything, yeah? all the pawns. Just my opponent just tried too hard in that end game. All right, so who do we focus on? Hikaru is nine bar ten, so he's drawn another game it seems. And we have Seturaman eight bar ten, so we'll focus on Setu. He's won his game. Okay, he's won against Dimitri. Let's take. And uh, Seturaman played the Archangels, which he also recommends in one of his courses. You know this position is very similar to what happened in Harika's game in the first round of the World uh, Women's FIDE Team Championship. C5, Knight D5. Okay, maybe something something went wrong for Seto for sure in this game. Suddenly everything is neutralized <laughs> and Zedu is back in the game. Ah, now too many, too many threats. <laughs> it's just too many threats, this, this and that. Okay, now I'm playing against Sanyura. She's a strong woman grandmaster from Russia. We'll also keep an eye on Seto Raman, who is playing against Sanan Sujirov. Hikaru Nakamura is playing against Tigra.
ಜೀವ ಕಾಣೋ ಕನ್ನಡ ನಮ್ಮ ಕಾಣೋ ಕನ್ನಡ ಜೀವ ಕಾಣೋ ಕನ್ನಡ ನಮ್ಮ ಕಾಣೋ ಕನ್ನಡ ಓಕೆ ಶಶಿಧರ್ ಅವರೇ ಹೇಗಿದ್ದೀರ ಜೀತಿರಿ ಲೆಟ್ಸ್ ಗೋ ಜಿ ಸಿಕ್ಸ್ just for fun rook d5 97 Bishop g5. Now this I haven't seen before. Okay, let's ask this bishop where it wants to go. Oh. No problem. I have a passive position, no doubt. But yeah, it's interesting to play this position. six keeping this solid and now I'm going to go b5 then the queen will come to d6 this rook will come to c8 that is what i am considering h4 i was expecting my opponent to go that way because this also enables bishop h3 now i have a clever idea <laughs> i should not call it clever myself <laughs> okay but bishop h6 is what i was considering now i can take this and play knight f5 first i'll take this then i'll play rook c8 then i'm going to play knight f5 so this is a threat bishop h3 okay first let's take care of this one knight h4 queen g3 i think i'm okay with that i'm going to play king g7 and queen f6 very soon Okay, king g7. You can also go queen e7 though. But queen f6 seems interesting. any other way to activate to activate my knight I'm checking but i don't see any way though If I go f6, then queen h4, f5, and then he will take. Okay, let's go rook h8. It's just a waiting move because I don't see a better move. F6 
F5 Oke okay. If I go G5, what is happening? Knight F7, what is happening? King F7, he wants to go Rook C7 Aha uh -huh. So what do I have? Nothing, no? Queen e7, knight h8. King f7, rook c7. Okay, let's go. Queen Z7 is also coming. And this is lost. Terribly, terribly bad position. <laughs> yeah, that's bad. Okay. So where did I go wrong in this game? For a moment it looked like I was having a pawn. Yeah, maybe I should not have taken that pawn. Looks very risky. Let's see the existing game. Setu Raman is playing against Sanan Sujuro. Setu is white, but he's under a lot of pressure. You can see the domination by the black pieces. Knight takes f2. Could come. Setu has just made a move. But yeah, what move did he make though? He played. Oh, Setu lost. So Setu missed a very good finish. All right, Shiva Madhavan has won his game. And yeah, Srishti has lost. Ronak is still playing. But what happened to our top seed, Hikaru Nakamura? Hikaru Nakamura is playing, but he's drawn the game. Okay. He's drawn against Genghis. Genghis, okay. Genghis. So what is his standings, by the way? He's 10 bar 11. Wow, seems like he is... No, he's 9 bar 11, but uh, he drew his game, right? This I'm not sure what happened. Hikaru lost. Really? Which game did he lose though? Oh, the last round you're talking about. Probably he won the last round. Penalty made round he lost and then last round he drew. Yeah, yeah that, that could be the reason. He is placed fourth in this title Tuesday. But even the fourth prize, I think they get some prize. Definitely. Okay, let's check the pending games, which games are still going on. Swimmer Chess is playing this, but he won. He won the game. Yeah, Swimmer Chess has won. So if you look at the standings, I can see top 20. Seto is placed 17th. I think he will be the <laughs> he lost the last round is it but last round I, I see his game um, like the last round that I have of Hikaru Nakamura is this one where he is drawn let me check the info 
this was 3 plus 1 and yeah so maybe this is an old game that I am I am watching so here GM has GM Robert has, is playing Ronak Sadwani I think they are playing a practice game here this is not tiled you see Yeah, my position is 130th as you can see. <laughs> I've scored 6 bar 11. Could have scored more but yeah. 6 bar 11 is the score. Tigra is first, Genghis is second, RD4 ever is third. That is the end of this titled Tuesday. I think among the women, uh, Sarah Black Panther, she is uh, Bibi Sara, so she finished uh, in the top among the women. Seth Roman is on 20th position and uh, Swimmer Chess is on 23rd position. So yes, that's about it. Dear viewers, I hope you had fun and I had fun hosting this title Tuesday. There were some nice games, but you know, the shocking thing for me in this title Tuesday is that we did not see any first move b3 games in our stream i was hoping that i would at least see two or three but uh, i could not see any games where uh, the games began with b3 or maybe i just did not notice so that means i will see you again in another title tuesday in october meanwhile keep supporting india as they are playing in the world women's team championship i'll be bringing you the highlights tomorrow and uh, take care everyone good night bye bye and jade jade do like the stream mm -hmm.